Oh, yeah. Are you guys ready for Grandma Keith? Because this is going to be Grandma mode. So I've never played a Metroid game before. And I've never played a Metroid Prime game before. And I've basically never played a Wii game before. Like, I've played Wii Sports on other people's Wiis. And that's like... It, the one where you comically do exaggerated motions with the Wiimote by swinging and stuff. It's like I've actually never done like, let's play a like, full-length shooter campaign with the Wiimote for the entire time. Like, this is all new territory for me, so... I'm gonna be... I might be incredibly awkward at this, or maybe just all those gamer instincts will just take over. I don't know. And I've played Metroidvanias, I've just never played Metroid. So something seems really obvious, because it's like, oh yeah, it's the thingamajig from the thing that from the previous Metroid games that you should know about, because you played the other Metroids, and this is the 3D version of that, and that's what that mechanic means or whatever. Well, that's not going to be obvious at all to me. <laughs> Just get ready for that, I guess. Uh, here's how much I know about Metroid. I had a Captain N comic book as a kid, where Captain N... I don't think it was actually even was Captain M in the story, but like it's had Samus and Mother Brain, which was like a cartoonish like pink face with lip lipstick stretched over like a front of a brain, like that moisturized me up to Doctor Who. I had that comic book as a kid, and I've played every Smash Brothers to some extent, where I do like Samus in those games. So I know I'm vaguely aware of those moves. I know she's a ball sometimes. <laughs> And I know what a Metroidvania is on a pretty fundamental level, so that part we're, we're ready for. This is gonna be an experience. This is gonna be my first time ever playing through the campaign of a game on the Wii. Even though I'm still playing it on the Wii U, but it's in the Wii dashboard, and I'm using a Wii Mote with a Wii Nunchuck, so... That's where we are today. <laughs> These graphics have aged alright, for being like a ten-year-old game. I imagine not having faces helps, right? Because it's just Samus' mask and some monsters and stuff. So it's just like, how good do your leaves and tech walls look like? But yeah, I've always heard Retro Studios is like this like massive shining light in modern Nintendo properties and makes all the coolest stuff or whatever. So this might be my first time playing a Retro Studios game too, as it turns out. All right. Time to experience it wrong and play it wrong and disappoint everybody. That's usually how it goes, right? And yeah, now I do have the trilogy, so I have access to the other ones. But our goal this time is just to play the first game. We'll we might get to the other ones later. It would be nice to play all three games before 4 comes out, but... Yep, I have the nunchuck. There you go. But, uh, you know, time permitting. I'm still trying to play all 12 Yakuza games, for example. Do I... Okay, here we go. Oh. Sure. This console. <laughs> I don't know if I ever made Mies on this console. I don't care about Mies, but okay. I guess it's just a, a setup for a save. Uh, I don't know what options I would change. Let's just start. We should be fine. Yeah, the first game. N normal. I guess. I can see a little outline around the Metroid Prime. Unidentified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4.
Okay, so I know that that's Samus's ship. I've seen that. It also just helpfully looks like her head. <laughs> Starting. Oop. Boop. Ah. Ah. This takes some getting used to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. The motion controls. Okay. Really? The trigger, or I guess B. I gotta remember that's B now. Oops, I tried to look at the bottom of the controller and now it's freaking out. Alright. So B is jump. A is shoot. There's force fields here. What about the, uh, oh! Oh, left, okay. Uh, I guess it's C? It's, it's left, left bumper. <laughs> the nunchuck bumper. Turns me into a ball. Third person perspective. Press and hold Z to lock on the targets. Which is left trigger. Man, I'm, I feel really, I feel really locked on right now. So I guess if you, if you're perfectly centering your thing, then it's easier to aim because of the lock on. I'm not sure how much I use the lock on. It seems like that might be more of a GameCube feature because this was made for GameCube first, which itself is nuts. The idea this came out for GameCube and then was ported to Wii, and now I'm playing the Switch version of the Wii port of the GameCube game in 2020, and it still looks pretty alright. Okay. This will be interesting. Next set of force field controls are offline. Scan the central pillar to activate them. Move the cursor to the top zone and release start. Or it's minus to enter scan visor. Release. I like how we were implying that I was already holding or do I do I do I start holding it? Oh. That's what you mean. Uh, did they ever say to start holding it, or did they just say to release it? Animal objects appear. Red right trigger. Forest field activation switches are now online. So A goes back to combat, which is also how I shoot. That's gonna take some getting used to. The trigger on my controller is jump, and the top button is is shoot. You would think that the trigger would be shoot, because it's a, it's a trigger. <laughs> they're made. Alright. So, I don't know any- these might be- these must be abilities I can get or something, because there's nothing there right now. That's just the visor. What's this do? Just interact? Alright. I wanted to see if there was a chance to, like, Ah, right. The Wii mode also has numbers, buttons one and two. How I could forget? How could I forget? These are the buttons on a Wii. Uh, a, B, which is a trigger. C, Z, which is also a trigger. One and two, plus and minus. <laughs> Numbered buttons, like it's a. <coughs> the last time I saw numbers on a controller was like off-brand. Uh, unpopular PC controllers, basically. Uh, okay, come on, buddy. Let's see what we can do here. Right, so, one is the menu, two is all of these things. Are any of these? Okay, cool. Options. Basic, standard, advanced. How unhelpful. <laughs> what do those mean? Oh, sensitivity. Oh. Lock on free aim. Off? Does that mean that'll act actually shoot directly at the person I'm locked on? That might be useful. I can always turn it back off. Swap, jump, and fire. Yes! See, they knew. <laughs> they knew. Okay, good to know. Thank you, buddies. I love you. They knew someone was gonna be like, what do you mean? Of course. 
What do you mean trigger is jump and not shoot? Okay, and so let's do... So Okay, so now... Okay. So now if I am locking on, like, I can, I can still free shoot. Oh, careful, like... But if I lock on, I'll just directly hit the thing. Which seems like the point of a lock on, but I, I guess it still centers the camera on it, so you can strafe around and try to shoot. Because there is the issue of, like... Uh... Oh! D-pad shoots weird rockets. Okay. I learned a thing. Do all directions in the D-pad do that? No, only down does. This is a ride. Okay. But yeah, like, it's a little- it might be a little hard to, like, circle strafe around somebody. With, like, left- like, normally you'd move a left stick and turn with right stick to circle strafe around somebody. But in order to do it with the Wii mode, I have to aim to the side of my screen. So that kind of fucks me on being able to shoot them. So I guess if you're locked onto them, you could then be circle strafing while shooting, is the idea. So maybe I will turn that back off later. But for now, I know I gotta move forward, people are gonna get all frustrated that I'm sitting here being confused, but this is like a really different game experience than normal. Once shot, doors will open when you approach them. Thank goodness that's not how real doors work, huh? You're shiny. Should I do... a button somewhere? There we go. Minus. It what? Yep, that's one, it's one of these. Emergency evacuation area. Current status, environment unstable. Yeah, I never, I never had a Wii. Just at all. Reactor core and propulsion. Environmental, environment normal. Alright. Is this just like a map? Yeah, I, I've never been a particularly big Nintendo fan, and just like the basic control scheme and everything didn't seem that appealing, and it never had like a, any kind of like killer app that pulled me over. So the Wii is actually one of the only consoles I ever skipped, ever, basically. I had my 64 and my Nintendo and I loved them. Entrance to airlock. I guess I just felt like I was plenty taken care of by having a PS3 and a 360. Come on, there we go. Airlock repressurization successful. Entrance to deck alpha access hall. Blip. So every time I shoot, I lose that view and I need to like manually go back to it. Hello. Are they just lights? Are they power? They look like power, like power canisters from Mega Man or something. Uh, but, but, uh. That's probably not good. Hello, hitbox. Got him. Didn't even see what it was. Too much of a coward. That guy's very dead. Wow. What a scale difference. Tiny grub that makes the sound effects from those little those little screecher creatures in Act 2 of Diablo that have electricity. Followed by swole dude, bigger than me already. Stabbed by even bigger dude, who's also dead. So, not the best signs for me all around, really. Alright, I gotta get in the- I got the- I need muscle memory about, like, finding this, like, sweet- Like, the sweet spot in the middle of the screen. If you- because if I wander off even a little bit, it starts just spinning forever. This- this is different. Hey, buddy. You alright? Ah! If I hold the trigger, even without having anything in my- in front of me, I'll just start strafing. I can be like, did it did it did it did it go in time crisis mode. That could be useful. Hey there. So a lot of people died here. The platform does not look like it can be activated from this room. Morphology unknown. Info. High levels of radiation detected.
Morphology. Space pirate. That's a morphology? <laughs> what? Status, death caused by a severing of the spinal cord. I would guess so. Yeah. Probably fair. Analysis shows incredibly large muscular structure surrounding the jaw area. It does a good bite. That's what it does. Okay, so I don't need I don't need to just look for computer terminals to do scanning. Scanning's just like all over the place. And you can't see scannable objects until you open the menu, so you won't know necessarily. Has good range though. Escape pod entrance. The vessel has already been jettisoned. Ah, people have already escaped. Biohazardous materials. Phase on batch 0142A. Destination deck beta. Biohazardous materials. Yep. Yep. And these ones just aren't labeled. They just stopped. Probably because they got their se their spinal cord severed. Well, those are space pirates. This probably isn't their ship. There's more and more escape pods. A new creatures entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Space pirate. Ca death caused by acidic burns to body. Chemical type unknown. Where are you? Space pirate. Status. Weak life signs detected. Oh, it's alive. There we go. Fix this that. <laughs> ah! Something came through me. And more and more of this stuff, mostly. Oh, it says A button. What does that mean? Elevation occurred six hours prior to your arrival. I mean, evacuation. As an ape. Tail section possesses mouth like orifice. Most likely used for birthing offspring. Ah! Uh -huh. This thing spews babies at you and throws them at you, and you fight the babies, probably. That's usually what that means in a game like this. Okay, I had, I had the A button to continue a moment ago, so I was, I was paranoid that I'd missed that on previous things. But no, these are all just dashed lines. So that's been like the one time so far I could read more. Escape pod launch coordinates, Talon 4. Research center. 3, 4, and 7 have been launched. So there's a research center down on the planet. Maybe we'll visit that later. Who's a birth canal? Die, 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 die. <gasps> right, I can do this. Eh. Ka. There we go. Always important to do that. I should shoot this before I switch back. There we go. Space pirate. Death caused by excessive blunt trauma to cranium. Heh. <laughs> Cranium. Although this debris is obstructing the hallway, it looks like it can be easily removed. With my- oh, yep. This is where they're gonna teach me to do this. Oof. I've had undue success in Smash Brothers by just playing four-player chaos matches and just launching a charged ball across the uh, battlefield to unsuspecting people that are busy with something more complicated. And then they just get hit by that and you're like, oh, okay. That's fair. It's not fair. That one guy running on the cable chose the most difficult way to place to have to run in that situation. Poor guy. Oops. Wrong trigger. Entrance to connection elevator. Can I go through here? I can. It's just like a scanner or something. Whatever it is, it doesn't it's not a force field. Ventilation tunnel to navigation room. I'm betting that that door. I'm, I'm gonna hit like a dead end here somewhere, and they're gonna be like, yo, use the morph ball. I'm just gonna go here now. 
preemptively. Step into the hologram to download the map. That's useful. You have downloaded the map for this area. Oh yeah, no, I figured that out already. I pre-tutorialized myself. That's a proper 3D map. That's useful. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Whenever, they, whenever they take my cursor away, I immediately wander from the sweet spot. <laughs> so every time I come back, it's gonna go. Vua! That was a bad example. I shook the controller, and it does that apparently. It doesn't. There's like a speed limit on how much it can move the thing, so it does this. Oh, maybe that's nah. I was thinking maybe that's a feature, but probably not. It's probably just eh. We lost you. Cause you shake the Wii Remote for like doing stuff as Mario in some games, I think. But that would just be really counterproductive here when you're trying to aim with it. Let's see here. Parasitic infestation has been detected in the ventilation systems of Dex, Gamma, and Beta. Two Parasite Queen specimens have become volatile on Deck Beta. We're gonna die. Talon 4 Ground Zero Area Secure. Crater radiation readings normal. Fragile exterior hold stable and fully functional. Oh, this one had an A on it. So two parasitic queen specimens have become volatile on deck beta. All security personnel should report to the biotech research area. Gotta watch out for that little A button. It's sneaking away. So in, in a classic sort of 0451 sort of situation, we've got a facility that has already fallen before we got here. Like in Bioshock or System Shock 2. And probably System Shock 1, but I haven't played it. But they're making a remake. Hope it's good. Boop. Boop. Nope. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Access to deck beta approved. Please step into the hologram. Ooh. I'm really amused by the idea that this game constantly treats holograms as an interactive object. It's just a really funny way to handle them. It's like, it's supposed to be a display, but walk into the display, please. That's normal, right? Entrance to the map facility. Hmm. It's always a good design for your elevator to just always spark all the time. Probably is working really well. Entrance to Deck Beta Conduit Hall. So far this gun is primarily a key. I just want to be in this view constantly because there's so much to look, look at. Specimen containment breach on Deck Beta. All crew report for lockdown. This energy conductor unit has been damaged. Use caution when approaching the arcing electricity. You're right, electricity is bad for you. Thankfully, I've got Morph Ball! That'll work out. I think it's called the Morph Ball. Nope. Might even be, use might be useful to have a, a hot key like that for this, though. Considering how often I use it. Entrance to Biotech Research Area 1. Now we're in Biotech Re- Yep, he looks pretty researched. That guy looks specifically like he's under research. With the queen that we were talking about? With the- with the birthing tail? Who doesn't need a good old birthing tail? Uh... Hi. I'm gonna ask you to politely die very far from me. <laughs> We've, we've exclusively seen foes from very far away because I keep killing them as soon as that they're in range and going back to slowly scanning things. Conduit Hall. Specimen cell C. Status unknown. Rejection of phason compound detected. Phason compound. 
Don't know what that means. Yeah, I, I figured that out. Oh, I can strafe around things I'm scanning, too. The fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. Yummy. This allows for increased production of corrosive bile. They, they spit acid, which is what that thing got, died to earlier. Transference of phase on batch 0081D complete. Specimen cell 8, status unknown. Rejection of phase on compound detected. That sounds like it was bad for them. Hi. No? Be dead all the way, please. Rude. Oh, he's just ceasing to... He just went away. Alright. So, them playing dead for a while seems to be a feature, because that's the second time now that's happened. The fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. That's what I read a moment ago. So if I see one of them still sticking around and it hasn't phased away yet and it's not an environmental corpse, then I should probably just shoot them again. They do seem hostile. Even though I've always shot first. The coils on this ventilation cap look unstable. Nope. Ballistic support needed in specimen block F. Fire missiles with down. Yeah, it sounds like that's gonna be necessary soon. For reasons. Oh. Did I kill you with missiles? Yay. Door open? Ah. Door's already set. I just wasn't close enough yet, because it, it did say they they opened on when you approached them. Hmm. New research entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Missile ammunition resupplies missile launcher with three rounds of ammo. Oh, it's a drop. From the thing I killed. Entrance to biohazard containment. Let's take a look at that logbook. Uh, two plus nope plus creatures. The parasite morphology: parasite, interstellar vermin, travels in swarms. Indigenous to Talon Four, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. I imagine so. Small missile ammo. That's what we read already read. Gotta get in the habit of pulling a trigger to leave menus. Damn. This game does not lack for enemy types, apparently. Yep. Get, 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 get. There we go. Friend? 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 Hut! Hang on, let me scan you. I'm gonna scan you so I can learn about your people. Haha. Uh -huh. Joke's on you, I can scan through glass. Auto defense turret. Use missiles to break outer casing. Can do! Whoops. Awkward. How you doing? Anyone else? Oh wait, get, get, hi. How do I? <laughs> Can I double jump? Can I do that, like, electro lash grabby thing she has in Smash to get higher? I imagine I swing like Tarzan with that at some point, right? Did I ever grab this up here? <laughs> I know there was ammo up there a minute ago. I don't know if I grabbed it. I don't remember. It's fine. I'm sure I'll find opportunities for ammo. Why, hello, Geiger. How are you today? Um... No? I was just sure something was going to come out of there. I figured I should just get ahead of that.
Based on infusion stage 1, parasite larva diagnostic, mass 1.2, length 0.5. We don't really bother with units in this universe apparently. Cell structure stable. Must be really convenient for them how they came up with these, a stable, they came up with a consistent and uniform measurement system across all societies so we don't have to label units anymore. Phase on infusion stage two. Introduce, introducing mutagen into tank. Status complete. New pirate data entry. The space pirate encrypted data decoded. Log 09992 3. Zerbees has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter clad in metal, or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates. Orpheon, Seriacus, uh, and Volparagom were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orpheon is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy, but on restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. Whoops. <laughs> I think that's me. I think I found them. Morphology unknown. The specimen's been horribly mutated. There are no life readings. Ah, yes. The biggest mutation of all. Death. Stage three. Mutation initiated. Larva status stable. Is the larva inside there? I assume that's not the larva. Or maybe that maybe in later stages it died. Stage 4. Larva diagnostic. Mass 14.5. Length 40.3. Cell structure failing. Ah. Nice of them to put every single step on a completely different computer for some reason. Specimen cell structure failing. Batch 0732C does not match DNA. Terminating infusion sequence. Ah. Biohazard waste removal may begin in three hours. Oop. Phase on reading, uh, radiation readings must be reported to deck commander before batch disposal. Hmm. I'm paranoid again that I might have been missing A buttons, but I don't think I was. That could have all been one document, but they would spread it around the room, I guess. Perimeter defense turret malfunction. Yeah, I, I kind of killed it. Maybe I could have hacked it there. Parasite larva, harmless unless encountered in large numbers. It doesn't look that harmless. It looks pretty fucking big. Plasmite, native to Talon Four. That one's empty. These two are. Cl this one's armored and then wants out. Specimen solitary holding phase on level one. Unknown status, xenotropic life form unstable, use caution. It's apparently a couple, a, just a couple of giant ass legs, judging by that side picture there. Hmm. Infusion analysis 12.5. Phase on batch 0003H increases the acid production of the sa uh, saliva ducts in parasite larva. Infusion analysis 10.2. Specimens exhibit incredible strength and body mass increase when exposed to phase on batch 0732C. Four three five eight experiment bioform pain tolerance levels at 13% and holding. Elevator operational. Please step into the hologram. Always holograms with you. Platform active. There's definitely going to be a, some playstyle variance between people I'm, I'm taking. Because I could have done everything I've done so far in about two minutes. But there's all this reading that I maybe shouldn't always do. Hi. Stop. Let's just go over here to your cousin real quick. Oh, hi. There is not a lack of enemies here. 
damn. He was a healthy one. What's this over here? A new research entry has been downloaded. Small energy replenishes 10 units of energy. Is that my health? Aha. I think 99 might, might be my cap. Hi. Die. I could have shot you with a grenade. Yeah. <laughs> All right, these guys are pretty easy so far, but they are already mostly dead. So I am cheating a bit. Samus is not the most honorable of bounty hunters. I guess they're a bounty hunter. Zoomer! Named Talon for. Oops, I, I got get. Plated parasite larva. Named Talon for. We're gonna have to learn to recognize these because they probably have different ways of being fought. Specimen solitary holding two. Phase and level toxic. Hermetic seal holding. There's something in there. Things that they want to keep a secret from me. The war wasp. No, thank you. Holding three. Phase and normal level. Hermetic seal holding. Four. Toxic holding. The Shriek Bat. So these are all native to Talon 4. Oh, it looks like the Camera Bat from Dark Crystal. Unnerving. The Ice Shriek Bat. Alright. So we're introducing elements. Five is empty. That's where I was a minute ago. Oh. Mutagen tank. Phazon batch. So this is a Phazon injection specimen tank. Like it's where they're it's worth it's what they use to do their experiments. Where they've they have different batches that they're testing on different creatures. So they store them all in this room, and then they uh, ruin their day slash life. One by one. But in pursuit of what? All right. Transit Hall. All right, we'll open that next episode.